Hey everyone, welcome to Effects Creation. Today we are going to create this. So let's get started. First open After Effect, and create a new composition, this is called Main Comp. Then create on another new composition, and this is our Image Placeholder Comp. Then go to Project Window and import your image into the Image Placeholder Composition. And resize image according to the composition. Then create on another composition, this is called our background comp. Import the image placeholder comp into the background composition. Now we need to add motion tile effect on our image placeholder comp. Then change the output width 500, output height 500, and check the mirror edges. So here you can see that. Now search tint effect, and apply on image placeholder comp layer and change the black color with little dark gray color and convert image placeholder layer into 3D layer now go back to the main comp and import our background comp into the main comp now we have some elements so import matte vertical footage into the timeline as you can see our footage come through bottom to top but I want it to come down from the top so rotate the footage like this. Then change the layer mode, Silhouette Luma. So whatever white area we had, has become transparent. Cool. I think we should change the tint amount a little bit, so change the tint amount around 70%. Cool. Now create one more new composition, and I called this Media 1. Import Image Placeholder Comp into the Media 1 timeline. Now we need to create a frame. So create a new composition, and this is our frame composition. Select Rectangle Tool, and double click to make a perfect rectangle. Then again select Rectangle Tool, and create a rectangle inside the big rectangle like this. And move the rectangle to below the rectangle one. Then select Shape Layer, go to Add, and select Merge Path. Expand Merge Path, and change Mode Subtracts. You can see our shape has been subtracted. Then go back to Media 1 Comp. And import frame comp into the timeline. Now we have one more thing to do. Go to project window and duplicate the frame comp. Then import frame 2 comp into the timeline, between the frame and image placeholder layer. Now open frame 2 comp, and create a new solid layer. Move the solid layer below the shape layer. Now go back to Media 1 Composition, then select Image Placeholder Layer and change Track Matte Alpha Matte. One more thing we need to do with Image Placeholder Layer, to apply Motion Tile Effect. So search Motion Tile Effect, and change Output Width 500, and Output Height also 500, and check Mirror Edges. Then select All Layers and convert into 3D Layers. Now go back to Main Composition, go to Project Window and import Media 1 Comp into the Timeline, then select both Background Layer and Media 1 Layer and convert into the 3D Layer. Now we need to create Camera, so create a new camera. I am using 35mm Preset Camera, then create Null Layer and convert into the 3D Layer and Parent Camera with Null Layer. Now we need to animate this. So select Media 1 Layer and BG Layer, and turn on Collapse Transform icon, then select Null Layer and press P for Position. 
and change Z position, little far from the camera. Then select background layer and scale up the background layer around 150%. Now go to two views horizontal, and move Z position of the background layer far from the camera, then increase the scale value. Now I want to animate this image, so select me view one layer, go to one views, and press P for position, and shift R for rotation. Then go to around 1 second forward and add a keyframe on position and Z rotation. Then go back to first frame, and change Y position like this. And also change the Z position around 45 degree. I think we need to change the Z rotation little more, around 145 degree. Cool. Now select all keyframe and easy ease them. And change your graph something like this. That's look perfect. We need to move medium one layer around 20 to 23 frame forward, so that it comes after our ink drop effect. Great, that's look perfect. Now drag dust texture image over to composition icon, so it will create a new composition according to dust image. Then create a solid layer. And change color black to white. Drag solid layer below the dust texture, and change matte layer, luma matte. So it will give us transparent look. Then go back to main comp, and import dust texture comp into the timeline, so here you can see the texture, convert this layer into 3D layer, go to two views horizontal, and move dust texture comp close to camera. Now apply tint effect. Go to effects control panel, and change the white color to little dark gray color. Now go to project window, and drag particle footage over to composition icon so it will create composition according to the particle footage, then create new white solid. Move layer below the particle layer, and change track matte luma matte, then go back to main comp and import particle footage into the timeline, and convert into 3D layer, then go to two views horizontal, and move layer close to the camera, I think we should change the particle opacity around 20%. Select both particle and dust texture layer, and change layer mode screen. I think we need to apply fast blur effect on dust texture layer, and change blur radius 0.8, then also apply curves effect. And make your curves something like this. Cool, that's look perfect. Now we want to add text into our composition. So go to project window and create a new composition. Width 1200 pixels, and height around 400 pixels. This is our text composition. Select text tool and type your text. Now I want to animate text, so expand text layer, go to animate and select opacity, now open rank selector 1, then open advanced, and turn on randomize order, go to first frame and add a keyframe on start, then go to 1 second forward, and change start 100%, and also change opacity 0%, cool, now go to back to main comp, and import text layer, into the timeline, and convert into 3D layer, and also parent text layer with media 1 layer, and adjust your text where you want. Also change the text scale value 
move the text layer around 20 to 23 frame forward, so that it appears after our media layer. That's look perfect. Now we need to animate whole composition, so select null layer press P for position, and shift R for rotation, go to first frame and add a keyframe on X and Y rotation, and change the X rotation 40 degree, then go to 1 second forward, and change the X rotation 0 degree, Cool. Then go to few second forward and add a keyframe on Y rotation. Then again go to one second forward, and change the Y rotation like this. You can adjust the keyframe anytime, according to your choice. Now press S for scale, and go to between in and out animation and add a keyframe, then go to few frame forward, and change scale amount around 110%. Select keyframe and easy ease them, and make your graph something like this. That's look perfect. You can move your keyframe anytime, according to your choice. As you can see our dust layer is visible, so select dust layer, go to first frame and change the opacity 0%, then go to around 10 to 15 frame forward and change opacity 100%. Cool. Now select all layers and pre-compose them, and this is our slide 1 composition. Now go to project window and import transition footage into the timeline, and move the layer when our outgoing animation started, then select layer and pre-compose them. This is called transition comp. Then open transition comp and search and apply invert effect. Then go back to main comp, and adjust transition layer. Then select transition layer and change layer mode, stencil luma, so it will give transparent effect. Now select both layer and pre-compose them, and this is our scene 1 comp. Here you can see the transparency, now create a new solid layer, this is our background layer. Then apply fill effect, and change the color as you like. Our animation has done, let's see the preview. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.